And good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. I'm Tom Yamas. Several developing stories as we come on tonight, and we begin with that growing threat to life in Hawaii. The Earth literally shifting underneath. New eruptions from the Kilauea volcano, red hot lava burning through trees and bubbling up in neighborhoods miles away. Hundreds of earthquakes as well, this one registering 6.9. But it's the toxic gases rising from the molten rock that authorities say is too dangerous to breathe. And tonight, some 1,800 people have been forced from their homes with no idea when they may return. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez starts us off from Hawaii tonight. Tonight, molten rock spewing into the air as new cracks in the ground open up on the Big Island. The fresh eruption sending a mountain of spattering lava ominously crawling down neighborhood streets. The blazing hot sparks and dangerous plumes setting off smoke detectors. You guys need to evacuate now. Ira Haas recording as one of the first fissures erupted this week near his home, miles away from the Kilauea volcano. It was so powerful, it was thunderous. I mean, it was just like, you know, and just erupting like a jet engine, and then it, was, it sounded like bombs. He is one of the 1,800 people forced to evacuate from these neighborhoods. The police came down our driveway and just said we had to get out. All worried their homes like this one could be destroyed. Police keeping Haas and other residents out, pointing to the risk not only from the eruptions, but from toxic sulfur dioxide gas still pouring into the air. Officials are so concerned they've set up roadblock after roadblock like this. Cars lining up with people being turned away, told the air quality makes it too dangerous to get much closer. There's no question there's a lot of frustration with the people that uh, want to get back in. What we're trying to do is make sure that it's safe. When the environment is safe, we will be able to admit them back into their, their area. But there is no end in sight to the eruptions triggered by multiple earthquakes over the last few days. You guys all right? Including a 6.9 magnitude quake Friday, the it's biggest awesome. in Hawaii since 1975. This is stopping. Come here, son. This man grabbing his baby as his home started to shake. Oh, my God, guys. No one's seriously injured, but tonight residents are bracing for possible repeats of these natural disasters. And Marcy Gonzalez joins us live from one of those roadblocks preventing residents from re-entering those evacuation zones. But Marcy, you're hearing conditions there are so dangerous, even first responders are not going in? Yeah, that's right, Tom. They are staying back because of those toxic fumes. Now, warning residents who chose not to evacuate, if they end up needing help, they may be on their own. The National Guard is set up and ready here for the possibility of more evacuations because they have no way of knowing where the ground could open up next. Tom? Marcy Gonzalez on the ground for us there in Hawaii. Marcy, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.